Andre here with a ridiculously large Dollar Tree haul. What can I say? The Christmas mothership has landed at the DT. That is for sure. Now, I'm not going to feel bad because I did not go Halloween crazy. I did not go fall crazy, but your girl can't help it when Christmas comes rolling around. It is my favorite time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And they had some really cute stuff. So I am really excited to show you guys what I found. Um, I hope you guys are all doing really well. I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers that have join this trucker family. I really appreciate that support. If there are any of you who find yourself coming back to watch my Dollar Tree hauls and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> no, but really, I could really use your support. Um, to be honest, I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers because that will open up some more options for me on YouTube. That's the truth. So if you want to, subscribe if you don't feel like you're ready yet that's okay i still want you to come and watch the videos i love you anyways <laughs> but anyhow i just have a couple bags of non-christmas stuff so let me just get through that right away because we got a lot we got a lot going on i picked up a bag of popcorn and i actually picked this up because lily was here last weekend but I didn't do my Dollar Tree haul right away, so we will have this for next weekend. It is the Brims bags of popcorn. They are pretty big bags. They're um, The net weight is 8 ounces, and it tastes really good, you guys, actually. And I also like supporting it because on the back, they have a scripture verse on there. So I'm guessing that they are a Christian company. So, I will support it. Um, but it does taste really good. Okay. So, that was that. And, okay. Ugh. I'm, like, so excited. I think I'm breaking out in time right now. Um, I needed some clear nail polish, just some hardener. I've never tried the ones at Dollar Tree. From what I hear on other channels, this Diamond brand is a name brand. I'm not too sure about that, but I will try it out because I needed it. And this is probably not the best deal. There's only four of these um, pods in here. These are the dishwasher pods. I usually buy the, um, the Cascade brand of pods, but for some reason in our, what do you call it, our stainless steel dishwasher, I don't know. Tell me, you tell me, you guys, if you have this happen, where it's like after the dishes are washed and I open it up, it has like this eggy smell that just makes me want to gag. I don't know what it is, what causes it, but I don't know. The dishes are all really clean. It's just like the smell that stainless steel gets that drives me nuts. So I didn't. These are pricier than the Cascade, so I thought I would just try it out and see if maybe I get a better outcome. And then if I like it, I will just start buying these. Um, needed some batteries. Got some more of those. So I was excited when I found these diffusers. All right, these Aroma diffusers. Right, they're a dollar. Yay! And they looked really cute. Here you go. It's just really simple. You put the batteries in the back. You put the oil in the bottom. And then there's just a button to turn it on and off. So because I was so excited, I grabbed four of them. Because I thought one for home, one for Matt's truck, and a couple for like stocking stuffers maybe. Well, I ended up bringing one to work. And it takes two double A two triple A batteries. You guys, within a few hours, this thing burns out the batteries. It is a battery eater. So I'm not too thrilled about that. I mean, I know you can get packages of batteries at Dollar Tree for, you know, I think there's what, like six or eight of them in a package for a buck. But still, it's a lot of batteries. It's 
lot of battery waste. So now I'm like, meh. I don't think I'll give them away because I would feel kind of poopy to give somebody something that they constantly had to stick new batteries in it. But as far as the working, it did work well. I had some dessert aroma oils that I had bought, not from DT. Uh, and it did smell good. It did, you know, put out a little bit of a throw, but I just really wasteful on the batteries. So, all right, um, let's see what else. I finally found these uh, utensils that everybody's been hauling, and they only had them in the orange, which I don't mind. I really would have liked to find the gray ones because. We just painted our kitchen and dining room a really pale gray, but I do like a pop of color. I like this type of orange, so I got them. They're really good quality. I mean, they are just the Dollar Tree utensil brand, but they seem really well made. And compared to some of the other silicone utensils Dollar Tree has had, these ones look legit. It does say on the tag that it's heat resistant up to 400 degrees. So I'm hoping to find some, some more of these. This was literally all they had. Um, I think they even have like some other items, like a spoon that isn't slot, slotted. slotted. Um, I don't know what else because this is all they had at mine. Okay, and what else? Um, I found some of these nail polishes that everybody's been going nuts about. Julie, I don't know. I don't even know if that's a name brand or what, but I really liked the colors. So I got this one that's like red and then a kind of like a creamy white color, winter white, I'll call it. And then I got this one here with a hot pink and then a sparkly that matches it. So we'll try it out. I'm down for that. Um, while I was in, oh yeah, were these? No, 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 no. I'm getting confused. I thought I got this while we were on vacation, but I did not. I happened to find this. This was the only one on the shelf. Um, it's the tomato soup little spoon rest, and it's so cute. Ceramic. I just, I love it. It's going to go perfect with the theme I'm going for in the kitchen. Um, I really wanted to find the Mason one though. And I went to so many different stores and I wasn't finding it. But somewhere in here, in one of these bags, I finally did end up finding the Mason jar one. So I don't know where that is right now. You'll see it when I get to it. Um, they had these glass cups that say whiskey extra special right here it's not a particular brand on there but i love like unique looking barware so i thought these were pretty cool and i got two of those i won't take them both out because we have so much to get to oh my god a couple more bags of non-christmas things Let's see. There might be some Christmas puppets in here, but I don't know. Okay, so I got these, not for me, but for my great niece, A.B., and I just couldn't pass them up. They're so cute, and they reminded me of her, and I thought she would just love them. So, A.B., if you're watching, these are for you. See ya, loves you. Um... Super cute. And we just needed some envelopes. So there are 30 of these envelopes in here, and they're the made brand, really good quality. And they're the kind that are press and seal, so you don't have to lift them. Good deal. Um ugh. and some more of these LED lights. I'm trying to pick them up as I get them. And I picked up some other colors that must be somewhere in here. I don't know. Another one over here. I thought this Bic pen was really cute. I mean, this is a pretty old school type of pen, 
with the push down clicker of multicolors, but I really liked the colors. They're pastel kind of colors. So I had to get one. And I thought this was really cute. Put it somewhere in my kitchen. And these are the ones that are like little wood boxes. Little, They're pretty well made. So yeah, that. And I have found some more Christmas bulbs for my mini trees that I like to put out at work. <clears throat> so I just picked up the ones they had in red. I think they had them in silver and gold too. And then I picked up three of these little Santa LED wire lights. I use these in DIYs. And then I picked up a set of the Christmas tree LED. And then this was new. I didn't, I've never seen this at DT before. I don't know, it's Softy brand. So I don't know if that's a brand, but it is beard oil. So my hubby he uses beard oil all the time and I thought maybe he would like that and give it a try. And then I hit the cookbook mother load. I keep saying mother load. Oh well. But I did cookbook mother load. The first thing I saw was, and these aren't really big. They're decent though. Let's see, how many pages are these? There's like 80 pages in here. And they had one that is keto. And here are some of the pictures going on. So even though it's not one of those really thick recipe books, I thought it was worth a dollar. And then there was one with just vegetables. So I thought I would give that a try. And then, oh, this whole bag is cookbooks. All right. So first they had prep ahead meals from scratch. And let's see, this one to try to show you. I'm terrible at showing books on here. Plus the glare going on. But there you go. And I don't know. This was retailed for 19. I can't talk right now. <laughs> I'm excited to show you all the Christmas stuff. Um, this retails for $19.99. Crazy. And another one. This was Down South Paleo. So for those of you who might not know, a lot of paleo recipes can translate into a low-carb keto lifestyle for sure. So for a dollar, again, thought it was definitely worth picking this up. And this one retailed for $21.99. And then I got this Beirut to Boston cookbook. I've seen him, I watch, or we watch Guy's Grocery grocery games all the time and I've seen this chef on there a few times and he makes like Middle Eastern type of foods and I love Middle Eastern food so thought I would check this one out for sure and this one retail for $21.99 and then they had this black girl baking and Includes vegan and gluten-free options. So here we go. Some of the stuff looks so delicious in here. Probably not keto, but hey, holidays are coming up and I like to make treats for, you know, neighbors and I make platters that I bring over to family. I don't know that we'll be doing all that much this year, you know, with everything going on and, but... We'll see. Um, okay, and two more. They had a keto with your instant pot book. Look at that, you guys. Crazy. This one retailed for $21.99 too. 
and I have an instant pot and I love using the instant pot and I am always down for um, learning some new instant pot recipes so this was such a score I was like probably shaking in the aisle I was so excited and then this is not keto but I thought it looked really delicious and this was $19.99 or retailed for $19.99 as well. What is that? Oh my. Smoky s'mores bars. Yeah. So that was all the cookbooks I found. I love it. I get so excited when I find the cookbooks. And moving on. <laughs> Have you guys been going Christmas crazy yet? Um, gosh. All right. I don't even know. I don't know where to begin. Where to begin? So we'll just start right here. All right. Candles. They had some of these sparkly tea lights. I thought they were really pretty. I'm sure they don't have any kind of significant kind of smell, but I need, I like keeping tea lights around. Um, I go through a lot of candles the fall season, the winter, and yeah, so there are how many in here? There's eight of them in a package, so that's cool. I have not went Christmas gift bag crazy yet because I do have a lot of gift bags already, but I just really loved the look of this one here. It's Reindeer North Pole Licensed Aviation, um, teaching reindeer to fly, so cute. I found me the buffalo chat dish drying mat. So pretty, right? So I was really happy to find that. And what else? Okay, here's where it gets a little crazy. Um, I saw my girl Jeanette. Her channel is Frugal J. She does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls, so you guys go check her out if you like the Dollar Tree hauls. And I saw her haul these. They are the Gnome for the Holidays, and they had the oven mitt and then the kitchen towel. But the weird thing is, and I, they smell, they smell like that mildewy smell. So I don't know if it's because the way they were packaged or what's going on, but I'm kind of bummed out because I was going to use these in a giveaway, but I don't want to send you guys like mildewy smelling towels. So I will try to find some more that don't have that scent and hopefully I do and I can get them to you guys in a giveaway. Um, they also had... Some of these I got doubles of because I wanted a set of these for me too. Okay. I'm trying to do this in kind of order here. They had some new red truck um, kitchen stuff. So I got the oven mitt of that and the towel. How cute is that? So adorable. And then I got the matching um, pot holders and then another one of these. I'm pretty sure somewhere in these bags I also got another oven mitt and more pot holders, again, for a giveaway. And then they had this cute little, they call it a fingertip towel, but I, you know, the stitching on this is really, really nice. So I had to grab one. They did not have the, this in the gnome, so or else I would have snatched that up too. Okay, let's get these. Oh, and then I found this towel here, deck the halls again with that awesome, beautiful red and black buffalo check. And I swear, I think I got another one somewhere in one of these bags. Okay, okay. And, okay, signs, signs everywhere. 
they have some super cute signs going on. Again, with the red truck, you had to have it. It's a pretty decent size, and it does have some sparkly snow on the bottom. You probably can't really tell, but so pretty. And then they had these ones here, again, with the cute gnomes. And I got this one here for my girl, Jeanette. You'll be seeing it soon, girl. And then I thought this one was so pretty. Yes. Let it snow only for Christmas time and then let it not snow again. Please. Oh, and here we go. I found my mason jar little spoon rest. So, so cute. I love them. Picked up a few candles. I need some of that holiday scent going around. And um, let's see, what did I get? I got one in cinnamon spice. And these are really the only kind I like to buy at Dollar Tree because they actually do have throw. And then the blueberry pie or blueberry pancakes, this one. Oh my gosh, you guys. I should have grabbed more of these because... These smell so good. And then, I'm not sure if this was a straggler or what, but this isn't really holiday scent. It's strawberry shortcake, but it smelled so delicious. I had to get it. And I, again, I think I might have some more candle stuff going on in here, but uh, just trying to get through this so this video isn't super long. I think I have a few more bags to go. So you guys, tell me some of your wish list items. What have you been seeing in, you know, some of these Dollar Tree hauls that you're after? I always like to know what other people are trying to get their hands on. They had these cute little containers. Um, they had several different designs on them. And, of course, I had to get the red truck one. And I love that it just says... Merry Christmas. So I am a Merry Christmas person, as I've said before. And really cute for cookies. Should have grabbed another one. Dang it. And this is also going to be for my girl Jeanette, who has been hunting these down. And this is the gnome little coffee mug here. And I just want to tell you guys that to be careful with these because the they're like I don't know if they're like stickers or what's going on here but the fall one red truck one that I got a few Dollar Tree hauls ago um it started peeling along the top so I'm being extra careful now with these and oh lots of stuff you know, it's candle season, so I grabbed me a couple of these lighters. And they have two different kinds of these lighters, you guys. If you want, these are the refillable ones. So you can get a can of the butane and re <laughs> reuse these. <sighs> um, stocking stuff, stuffer time, I picked these up. To put in Lily's stocking. I thought she might like those because they are Coca-Cola. I've been trying to pick up these LED light sets because I use them in some Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs that I do. And I will try to get those videos of the couple things I want to show you for this season. Uh, and I did do a couple in... I think it was Christmas 2018. I don't know. I will link them up ab above right here. There was a gap in time where I wasn't recording for a while. So I don't remember when I did it. But yeah. So I picked up some of the red. And then they also have some with blue lights. That I have somewhere. And then look at these ornaments. Oh. So cute. I just love this like. You know, these aren't the red truck, but it's kind of like in that same vein of design, just cute little camper, just country life, you know? And I just thought, oh my gosh, I want a camper like this now, and I want to decorate it for Christmas and like drive around in it. Yes. So cute. 
So I picked up two of those. And then they had these letter ornaments. And they had, you know, the letters of the alphabet. They were all mixed up, so you had to kind of look through there. And I just got um, our initials. So, there we go. And they're pretty sturdy. Um, what else? Oh, non-Christmas. I needed some bowls for the cat food and picked those up. How many? There's 10 of them in there. And some candles. I thought these were really, really pretty. This was the only color I saw them in, but I bet you they'll probably come out with like green or something, but I just really like the design. And what I do with these kind of candles is I let it burn just enough so I can fit a tea light in there, um, you know, kind of make a well in the top. And that way I don't lose the design of the candle. I just keep putting tea lights in there and burning them that way. And then these are non-Christmas, yeah, but thought I would pick them up and see what they were all about. These are Garnier Fructus, and one of them is a pomade, a liquid pomade, and then one of them's a liquid um, cream. So you just put them in your hair. It helps smooth your hair. It says, uh, how does it work? Mm, get pure, clean style with no... So, I got these Garnier Fructus. One is a uh, liquid cream. One is a liquid pomade. I thought I would try it out. I have, like, naturally curly hair. So, sometimes I like trying out products to see if it'll give it a little more shine, a little bit more definition. And they smell really good. And it did not say whether they were particularly for a man or a woman. So... We'll see what happens with that. And, okay, so I'm just going to gather some of this stuff up real quick. Oh, I only have one more bag to go. So, let me, oh no, I lied. Two more bags. Um, another one of these gnome cups for moi. Oh, and here we go. Here's the rest of... Here was the other uh, truck pot holders that I got. And then these were the pot holders that I got to go along with that cute towel. And I picked the ones. They, they had various sayings. And I picked the one that says, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Again, white Christmas. Christmas Eve is even okay. Even, I'm not too mad at... A snowy Thanksgiving or a snowy New Year's Eve, but after that, no, no more, no. Um, <laughs> and then I had picked up the Christmas version of the red pickup truck, so love those. And they had these amazing platters, like big. Buffalo check ears. <laughs> I know, I'm weird, you guys. I'm weird! Welcome to my husband's world. <laughs> um, there were a couple other sayings in these as well, but these were the two that I like. Comfort and joy and deck the halls. They're so pretty. And then I, going with the theme... I just picked up one of these bows. They also had the smaller miniature versions of these, but I did not grab those. But I probably should have. Oh, well, not like I won't be going to Dollar Tree again soon. And now, for reals, this is the last bag. Needed a receipt book. If you ever need one of these, Dollar Tree has them. Okay, so I 
saw these and I just was like, oh my gosh, it's tangled up. Okay. So, more red truck stuff. These are wooden. They're not like, they're more like really good quality cardboard, I guess. You know, they're wooden. But they have a light in here. So, you probably, oh, you're not going to be able to see it. I don't want to take the tag out of it. Well, let's see. I'll take the tag out for you guys and just see if you can even see the light. Probably not. See, there is a light in there. Um, it's just too bright in here right now, but I ended up grabbing two of those right here. And if I can get this out of the bag, it's really cute. It's, there we go. So it's just a tea light holder and it is a really pretty green Christmas tree. And then along with that, I picked up, oh my goodness, everything's getting tangled up in these curly cues. They had these cute tea light reindeer. They also had these in gold, but I like the silver. So really good size. They're so cute. Oh, couldn't pass them up. And, all right, last couple things. One more Christmas thing. I really wish they would have had another one of these, but they did not. And I'm thinking the only reason this one is here is because one of the loops on the bow came undone. But I'll just fix that with a glue gun. But I thought that was really pretty. So maybe I'll just try to find my own ribbon like this and make some myself. Really wanted another one though. And then the last thing, this is not Christmas, but I did think it was just so cute. I want, I think it's a cat. I'm going to call it a cat. I guess it could be a bear, but it's just a little trinket dish, but I liked it. Um, usually the trinket dishes at Dollar Tree are like flat or they have like something that you put a ring on, but I like this because it was a tiny little bowl. So cute. And that is everything. Can you believe it? I think I got through that pretty quickly. Um, I know, you know, they're constantly putting out more stuff every day, but if you are looking for Christmas stuff at the Dollar Tree, you've got to go now. I know that it's not even Halloween yet, but if you want these cheap things <laughs> that are really nice quality, uh, you got to go now. Go now. Because I guarantee you that by the time like mid-November comes around, you are not going to find like the platters and the dish towels and it will just be gone. So anyhow, you guys, I hope you liked this haul. Uh, again, let me know some of your wish list items. And that is it for today, guys. I will be back with more low-carb recipes and more of our low carb grocery hauls um, because of our trip we just did not need to go shopping um, really for the past couple weekends so getting back to that and yeah till next time you guys stay safe and be blessed bye